Audio Jungle. City Hall, Vancouver, Washington. USA. We're the uh, uh, Washington, or excuse me, Vancouver in Washington State, which is in the northwest corner of the United States. We're not the Vancouver in Canada, our neighboring country to the north, our bordering country, I should say. Folks out and about. We were here before, guys, uh, about a week or so ago when the weather was nice and we had uh, captured that footage of uh, someone um, adding or editing a sign in within their uh, cynical framework. Uh, the sign had uh, listed uh, closures and uh, reasons why they were, were not open at the time. And uh, someone wrote in there, we're all gonna die. So at the time I was capturing that sign, I had went back because I had seen it a few days prior. Um, back behind us, uh, well, actually, it was up here. There's a, a train track, train tracks, and here's a bridge, train bridge, over here. Um, there's a screeching sound, and I was as I was moving in on that sign, the train was actually the screeching sound coming to like a little bit of a crashing halt <laughs> almost uh, as if it was uh, perfectly timed and edited with the sound or the uh, picture that I was zooming in on that was kind of crazy all right guys news collector daily we shall return okay thanks guys Hi right, guys, uh, News Collector Daily. COVID-19 uh, 2020, we're right now uh, checking out, uh, we're, in, uh, down, uh, we're in Vancouver, Washington, USA. We're out in the uh, public and um, Uh, just getting some footage of uh, what's going on in uh, Vancouver. COVID-19 uh, 2020. Hey boss. All right, man. Huh? Yeah. All right, man. Have a good one. Have a good one. Yeah, just check it out, uh, COVID-19.
a uh, young man just uh, just said hello and wanted to just say hey and he was doing his thing <clears throat> alright guys COVID-19 uh, 2020 checking it out Vancouver, Washington, USA There's uh, Sherry's. All right, guys, we'll be right back. <clears throat> Thanks. had to focus in but uh, I'll be right back beautiful building can't wait to see what it's gonna look like I think they have a picture over there I'll try to get it I'll walk over that way and there may be a uh, an artist rendering or a uh, architectural concept picture that uh, was posted on the property. Train. Train's coming. Not my way, but uh, you heard the horn. The that train's a four.
nice building. guys news collector daily vancouver police cool guy right next to me uh was uh looked at him and said hey and i said hey you even though i didn't need his permission i just want to make sure it's okay he's he's cool vancouver uh police very professional guys I've spoken with him before and uh all right thanks guys the first responders, the firefighters, the police, how are they going to respond to this while keeping themselves from feeling sick and from getting the exact uh, virus that they are trying to help people out with? The fire department for the city of New York and the emergency medical technicians, part of the emergency medical service that they work with, has already been hit by the coronavirus. Already one EMT here in New York uh, has come down with coronavirus. The good news is that wasn't because they were treating, treating a coronavirus patient, that was because uh, they were exposed to somebody who had recently traveled abroad to a coronavirus area. And there's been at least a dozen uh, fire department members or EMTs uh, that have uh, that have been self-quarantined as a result of this. Um, and there's more that are being tested, and, and those results are changing um, kind of dynamically and by the hour. But overall, the plan is for certain sick calls here in New York to pare down the amount of firefighters that respond. Normally, you'd have three firefighters, a chief, two EMTs, in all of those people, per protocol, if anybody has any sort of flu-like symptoms, whether it's coronavirus or the standard flu that we've been dealing with for the past several months, they have to don all the personal protective equipment. They're going to put the gloves on. They're going to put the masks on. They're going to put on all the other things that they need to wear to keep themselves safe. Well, when you have five people responding versus two, you're going to use a lot less of that personal protective equipment. And of course, as we know, some of that equipment has become scarce at different times in different parts of the country. It's a way to save on resources. It's a way to keep the firefighters uh, whose best uh, best training and uh, what they know best, which is fighting fires and conducting rescues and responding to very serious medical uh, calls that they can help out with from a manpower perspective, uh, such as major car accidents, uh, trauma cases. Uh, so that's what's going on here in New York. And that's the challenge that uh, fire departments uh, and EMS workers across the country are going to have to deal with, just the amount of people that they can